He pai te whakapakari tīnana marunga pahi kara ārori. Road cycling is a great way to get fit. It allows you to get outdoors and keep active no matter what fitness level you're at. And not owning a bike doesn't need to stop you there either. There are heaps of places you can hire bikes from all around the country and some offer anything from guided tours to tour route maps if you're wanting to do a bit of sightseeing. Kia ora, you must be Megan. I am. Te nā koe. Te nā koe. Nice, nice to meet you. Tell me, hea hanga rere ke tanga mō e ne mō mō pahi kara, what are the difference between the road cycle bikes and the mountain bikes, because they look the same? OK, the main difference between a, a road bike like this and a mountain bike is that the mountain bike will have smaller wheels and much wider, grippier tyres. This bike here has nice smooth tyres and they're nice and narrow for rolling quickly on smooth paved surfaces. What about the clothing or the gear that I need to go out and do some road cycling? Right. The main thing that you need on the road, it's a legal requirement, is a helmet. Wow. So you'll need one of those. Hey. Um, you're going to need to have something bright on the top. You've got a lovely white shirt on, so you're going to be seen. OK, and something on your feet, like closed toe shoes, just to protect your feet. How easy is it to hire a bike? All you need to do is to come on in with some photo ID and some money to hire the bike. You can take the bike for an hour, for a day, or even a week if you need to. They come with a pump, a small toolkit on the back, okay, and everything that you need to ride. So you will be provided with the helmet, the lock, the pump, everything. Fantastic. Before we get you out on the road, what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna check that this bike is okay for riding today. That'll help. We're gonna check the brakes. So the front brake, it's fine. The rear brake, it's engaged. Tire pressure is good and the tyres are great. Awesome. Now we need to get you ready. We're going to need a helmet. Feel like a power ranger. Clip it up. Good. And the last thing is you're going to want to know where to ride. Cool. So I'm going to give you a map so that you can navigate. Right, that's about me, Megan. Great. Have a good time. Cheers, thank you very much. Just out the double doors and on your way. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, te nei wā tonu e te whānau ki te patu ana hau i te rori. Hey, ki te kapakapana taku ngā kau i au i eke mau ngana. So I'm just climbing to the peaks of the hill at the moment. And I'm really trying to build my stamina. So I'm going to do a lot of hill work as I want my stamina to last over a long period of time. Now, doing hills is apparently one of the fastest way to get fit. You try your hardest to keep your momentum up, keep your pace up, get that heart rate up as fast as you can. My desired outcome is to have a good, strong cardio base. If I know my cardio base as well, I'm going to be able to last the distance and take in everything that I need to do. You can do high intensity intervals, whether you go really, really fast for a short period of time, or you go nice, long and slow, just so that you can keep your heart rate under the required amount of beats. If I'm talking about VO2 max, which is 220 minus your age, I need to be at a cardio rate of 180 beats per minute. If I can hold on to that consistently, I know that I'm going to have a strong base, I can enjoy the scenery and look forward to my desired outcome. Well there you have it, Ehoa Ma. Kotahi haura noi ho i patua te rori e au. It only took me one hour to go on my little tour. The best thing about that is that I had a lot of fun. I didn't even realise that I was exercising. Koira te tumanako. That's the point of the story. Mauri ora e te whanau.